Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more battle tech. Yes, we are back and we have found a new member of the crew. I would like to introduce to you Renek Isenkrale. Uh, Isenkral? I'm not 100% sure. Um, but he goes by Headhunter and he is the latest member to join the team. So a big uh, congratulations to you to making it to the Leviathan's Marauders. And uh, let's go on a mission to celebrate and see how you go with the rest of the team. So let's head on over to our contract. Now this is only our first mission with you, our friend. Um, so I think we're going to start with something fairly, uh, nothing too crazy. And uh, we'll just see how things go for us there. And then maybe we'll move on to something extra afterwards. So I'm thinking this repossession could probably be a pretty nice start. Nothing too difficult. Uh, so yes, that's what we'll do. So a Capellan convoy is being ambushed for expensive materials. Uh, we need to secure a location. And uh, yes, find the convoy and destroy it. Okay. Sounds pretty good. So we're going to go for a fairly standard contract. Nothing too crazy at this point. A little bit of salvage is good, uh, but nothing too much more. All right, let's see. Uh, Headhunter, I think we're going to give you... Okay, so hang on a second. Yes, uh, my mech full... Yeah, my blackjack is currently not uh, in working order so we're gonna go ahead and pick the shadow hawk i think we'll move decker onto the commando and headhunter you can use one of our shadow hawks so i think uh what was it yes i was thinking about this having any extra evasion for a slightly weaker unit is probably good so that's why we'll chuck decker into that one We'll give Headhunter a nice tanky mech, of course, just to make sure that everything goes well and we don't lose our new, our new, uh, what do we call them? Teammate? Party member? Uh, squad mate? Either way, however it works, uh, yes, we want you to survive and we want to see what you got. So, we're going to go ahead and try. So, uh, yes, I'll give you a little bit of background on Rannick as we were lucky enough to learn a little bit about him when we hired him. Apparently from the Lyran Commonwealth, he got a bit of a bone to pick with the current Archon after she sent the rest of his unit on a suicide mission against the Drax, only because Frederick apparently got tangled up in some kind of court intrigue. So yes, that's a, a fair reason to be annoyed and uh, wanting to go find some extra work, so we will definitely keep you. And the best thing I do like about him is his personal little motto, and he says, what is that? Um... Yeah, I prefer not to shoot them to scrap, if at all avoidable. Kill the meat, save the metal. That is a very good thing to hear. I definitely initiated. like the idea of that. Alright. Uh, this is the only window of opportunity we have for striking the convoy, Commander. Alright then. We need to recon the area, find the convoy, and hit it hard. Sounds good. Once the targets are down, we will rendezvous with the leopard at the extraction point. Now let's do this by the numbers. Oliveira out. Okay. So, question is, what do we got? We have the denial zone, so we need to make sure they don't reach here. I would assume this is the convoy's rough position. Yeah, okay, so they've got a little bit of high ground advantage at the moment. Uh, let's see. See, we don't have any jump jets on the commando. That is something to make note of. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you? everybody else does. So let's go ahead and get. Waiting for orders. Let's get him racing down. I think. Oh, we can actually climb our way up here. Uh, hang on a second. You. Is this a full distance sprint we can do? Receiving you. We yes, don't commander. quite have anyone with the full movement. It does appear to be somewhere where we could move through. So maybe we do run you up here. Yeah, all right. We're going to sprint. Uh, Deco, you get to go up there. Oh, whoops. Ready for orders. Uh, there we go. And we will Got it. see if we can see anything. All right. 
nothing at this point. Let's uh, go ahead and jump up our other mechs into position. I think we'll jump up into some cover. And... Can we reach up top? No, we can't. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and sprint our way down here. And we'll probably do the same for you as well. Actually, you know what? We'll bring you... I think we'll bring you all the way there because we will then jump up. And for some reason, that's going really quickly. Um, maybe it was the setting that I turned on. In between our... Uh, in between episodes, I turned on the speeding up single movement thing. So maybe that's what's going on. Alright, well, either way, let's go ahead and... Hmm. That's the denial zone. Coming from about here, we don't have anything in sensor range, which is kind of a little bit odd. Um. Yeah, alright, well, we'll run full sprint down here. Hopefully something will come into contact with us. Uh, let's just run all the way this way. I'd suspect they'd probably be coming up the road. On the eyes on the target. Ah, I've okay. Got something. So there it is. Alright, we do have contact. So, what I'm thinking is maybe... Uh, you do have jump jets. How close can we get you? We can get you this close for... Well, that would be a direct shot. You know what? Sure, let's go ahead and take that. I don't think we can... Yeah, we only have line of sight otherwise. Yeah, let's, uh... Up high. Let's get you up here and... Okay, apparently we're not quite in combat. Interesting. Oh, maybe when we first make contact, it gives us the rest of the action to get into position. That could be what's happening. Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and sprint. And I think we'll take... Yeah, this position in the trees. We'll take some good... Coordinates received. Positioning there, and then... Honestly, they're barely same, same. Maybe we... Jumping's not going to get us as far. Alright, let's go. There we are. All full evasion pips and cover bonuses. We'll have line of sight on you guys and some pretty good shots. Let's go ahead and take them. Alright, and now we get to see what the enemy has. Alright, so they've got their little spider. Taken some shots, and so far no good. That's good to see. And now it's our turn. Okay. Standing by. Decker. All right. Where can we send you? I'm thinking we might bring you all the way over here. You wouldn't have the best shots, but I don't see many other alternatives. Could possibly. Yeah, I want the full movement bonuses if we can make that happen. But I don't want to do that at the expense of having a good shot. So, I'm thinking... Uh, well, we'll only have line of sight on you. We should have something there. Let's go... I guess we're going to go here. And put our first salvo on you guys. Yeah, maybe maybe this will open up a little bit more to our eyesight. That could be useful. You're now entrenched, which is good. Give you a little bit of extra damage reduction. And let's just go ahead and... You know, maybe we go straight on the main building. They have, what is this, weak to melee. Okay. So we could potentially do 70 per melee against that, which is... Quite considerable. That's almost a full salvo's worth. Alright, well that is certainly worth uh, paying attention to. The question is, do we want to wait till they get closer and go for that, or do we start just going and try and target down the spider? Now the spider is in shoddy condition, so this could be good for our long-term health. I have medium lasers. Yeah, I think maybe... Yeah, I think maybe what we'll do here is we'll focus on the support and then we'll take out the unit as it gets closer. 
Yeah, I definitely think that's the way to go. Uh, the question is now, do we go the 40 percenters and try and do some damage, or do we go for sensor block and increase our chances? Uh, let's see. Uh, target size, heat, stability. Hmm. It's not showing the... Not showing the evasion uh, modifiers. Although it is a plus nine. Uh, so I'm guessing there's at least an extra four for each evasion. Now let's just go ahead and fire. If we do some damage, that's good. If not, oh well. Um, we'll still burn down one evasion at the very least. So that's a miss. It's not a be all and end all. All right, now we have the little tank moving up. Taking shots here. That's to be expected. And now they have a blackjack. Ooh. That's a. Uh, that's not good for that commander there. He seems to be in a little bit of trouble. That went straight through. Uh, let's see. If we do click on our buddy here, what happened here? Ooh, wow. Went straight through some center torso damage. That's uh, That's not good at all. Although the good news is we can actually... I didn't realize we could do that. We have percentages that we can check. Ah. Waiting for orders. All right, then. Well, the more you know. All right, let's go. Now that's their denial zone, so we do want to stop that from occurring. Let's go. I think we're going to move ourselves over here. Go for two evasion pips. Everyone is in our front forward facing our line of fire. Yeah, and then we'll go... Yeah, then I think we'll du dual target. We'll go LRMs and PPC on the blackjack in the back. And then we can send the medium laser against our quarry. And unless we can do... Yeah, I think I think that will work. Alright, let's uh, bring ourselves out and see what we can do. Alright, so... Can we... Okay, let's first of all just check what weapons they have. Ah, uh, yes. Two large lasers and two medium lasers. Yeah. That large laser is definitely what was causing some issues. We definitely want to make sure we take care of that. So, we're going to go multi-target. The blackjack, for sure. We do not want to take any unnecessary damage. And then... But realistically, we can probably take that out with a single melee on the next turn. So maybe we target the spider for the second target. Yeah, because I don't think even in a full sprint they'll get too far. So we can still... Yeah, we should be able to deal with that nice and easily. Uh, let's go ahead and fire those. No problem. I've got enough gun for everyone. All right. Sensors imp impaired. That's great. And structure exposed there. Excellent. Nicely done. All right. Now they do have that little tank. Yeah, definitely taking some damage. Glad we, uh... I'm showing minor damage. Put Decker in there. I'm very glad we did that. Yes, uh, sir. do we want to go with Headhunter? Or... Do I want to take the shot? I'm thinking what I'll do is... I will move... Yes, come on. Uh, let's see. Oh, you do the LRMs and all. Yeah, let's bring you all the way here. Uh, could do some decent damage there. What about if we go here? Can we take out one of the spiders? Uh, those are probably the best odds we've got. It'll also give you some cover. So what's that? 50, 40, 30, and 50. Uh, yeah, I think this one is the best way to hedge our bets. Yeah, okay, I think that's going to be our best choice. So we're going to go and set up here. Location confirmed. And we'll target you, our little spidery friend. Alright, not too bad. Striker's still coming in, yeah. Definitely going to want to get Decker out of there. Internal structure damage. He's uh, not feeling too good there. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be... What is this? Yeah, the final vehicle. Okay. 
So for us, let's travel. What have we got some goods or good odds for? That spider's not too bad. 65s, 75 and a 30. Might do some good damage there, although 285s is very nice and that could be a potential problem out of the way. That thing does pack a fair wallop. Mind you, he probably has the advantage. He may be able to get out back with the commando. Yeah, okay, let's just target. Oh, that was... Yep, yeah, okay, cool. That is what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, we're going to focus him down. Let's see if we can take him out. Uh, here we go. Oh, let's just send everything we got. All right. Maybe a little bit of overkill there. I could have potentially sent the LRMs off, but we really can't afford too much to happen to uh, Decker, so best, better to be safe than sorry. Alright, you my friend, let's go... Could bring you in for a melee, but I'm not sure that's going to be the best move for you. We're going to run you... Uh, how far can we run you? We could probably run you point blank into a melee there. Although black... I think the blackjack... Yeah, that's got an initiative of four... Same as this one, yeah, we want to get you away from that. We don't want to be taking shots by those, uh, that giant laser again. That would be very poorly for us. So, let's see. Um, maybe instead of moving, we might actually sprint you further back if we can get to cover. No? Okay. Uh, all right, then. Let's go... Yeah, I'm just really concerned about taking a solid 50 damage. That would be enough to take out almost all of our center torso. A little bit more spongy than I'd like. So let's try and... Uh... Oh, what do we want to do? I don't think that there's any winning in this situation. What have you got? You have a medium laser. Maybe we do just come in for the melee. Yeah, we'll target this side. Where is our damage? Our damage is on our right torso, which would be facing. But it's better than facing our back two, and we will get two pips of evasion. Either that, or what if we attacked? 75% is not terrible. Uh, yeah, alright, let's go ahead and I think we'll move. The extra evasion is nice. We'll go... We'll move backwards, we'll gain one evasion pip. We'll still keep the cover if we can manage that. Yep, there we go. And then make sure that we target, say, here. That way, still in the forward-facing firing line, and a little bit of extra damage reduction is good. Alright, let's go ahead and... Pretty sure that's the best options. Ah, uh, we could possibly take out the... I didn't realize we had an 80, a 60, and a 50. Uh, actually, you know what? Our odds are not, like, they're better overall, but we can probably send a melee there. And it's only a medium laser, and we have not done any damage. You know what? I think we're actually going to go and shoot the blackjack. The blackjack is, yeah, hoping to roll lucky. We need 40 damage to destroy this, and then another 70. Yeah, it may not be enough to take it out, but it could be enough to take out at least some of their lasers. So let's go ahead and... I think we'll try a precision strike. This will be good for our large and medium laser. And we'll target you and see if we can take out one of them. Yeah, 50-50, that's not too bad. Copy that. If we can make it that hit... All right, right arm destroyed. Excellent. Critical hit, Commander. All right, that might keep you alive. And I think at this point, that's going to be the main key. All right, looks like Glitch is going to come in for a melee on you. He's getting a little far away. Uh, where are you, Glitch? Waiting there you go. You, Commander. Yep, let's come on in for the melee kill. Uh, the armor is 60... And whatever else, yeah, it won't matter where we target. 
we should easily be able to destroy. So let's move on to there and we will attack. Got it. And primary target is damage command. Excellent. Keep it up. Alright. A little bit of laser for insult to injury. But at least now we're in a better position to take out everybody else. Alright. Uh, so let's just double check. Yeah, that's the denial zone. They'll probably end up following the road. They might try and cut through there, but either way, I think we've got them pretty well dead to rights. So what we'll do now is I think we'll focus on that blackjack if possible. Yeah, I think we'll run this way. Get that evasion, get that all working in our favor. We'll face... I think that's a fairly decent facing. And let's go ahead and, yeah, use those really nice percentages and see if we can take them out. Yeah. Alright, uh, how are we doing? Not too bad. Yeah, that, uh, the NRC, those narcs, I'm not 100% sure what they do. How's it going? I'm not 100% familiar with what kind of equipment that is and what it does. Um, I may need to look that up, but I'm sure it's not good. It'll either... Yeah, it looks like our mech is flashing. Okay, hang on a second. We're going to click on us. What is this? Okay, an arc. It does tell us. Uh, takes 75% more damage from missile attacks. Ooh. Okay. Uh, one source provide this effect. Okay. That is very interesting. All right, so... Commander. It's basically like, I'd assume, a uh, remote explosive. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, do we target you? Do we target one of you? I think what we're going to go for is that... Yeah, we're going to focus fire down that guy. Let's see if... Uh, yeah, if we can take that blackjack out, that would be really nice. We can't quite get the cover that we want. But if we move... Now that's... 70 and 75, but from here we have... Yeah, we fire more weapons. More weapons is always more good. So we'll move you up. On my way. And we'll see if we can... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Not looking too good. Alright, fire everything. Oh, and now he's unsteady. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, decent damage. But we're okay. It's only uh, lasers, so... Oh, there's that extra damage increase for the uh, NARC. That is a little irritating, but not much that can be done about that. Uh, Decca, let's see, what have you got? You've got some pretty good stuff. Let's go... We target here. We could probably take you out. Yeah, 280s and a 70 is very... Very nice. Uh, if we go there, that's pretty well just as good. Question is, are we still... Yeah, we will be in the right firing position. Sweet. Okay, so that does mean that we won't get shot in the back. That is fairly important given his uh, slightly weakened stature. Alright, here we go. Blackjack, can we take you out? Honestly, I think we probably can. You're not looking too good. Let's just go ahead and, uh, you know what, maybe we use a little bit of resolve here and just go precision strike and guarantee the shots. Yeah, 385s, that's definitely worthwhile. Uh, we'll target. Oh, I swear there's probably not that much to target left. There's a 5% chance on the head. It's not terrible. Uh, the legs, yeah, with the, uh, what is it? I believe to get the most salvage, you either blow off the legs or you take out the head, but that's a really uh, unlikely situation at this point. So let's just go for... Let's target the right side of the torso since that is the lowest amount of health. There we go. He's now down to a melee-only vehicle. 
that's his main uh, damage dealers out of the way. Let's go ahead and send. Good to go. Uh, what do we use? Standing by. You know what? Maybe we go with headhunter here. Maybe maybe you maybe you take the first kill. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We'll move you, get some evasion, we'll set you up. We should be able to take these guys out nice and easily, but you can make sure that uh they're gonna go. Yep. Fire. Excellent. That's a kill. Sometimes the only way to kill the meat is by destroying the metal, unfortunately, but hey. It is what it is. So, now that we've got that under the wraps, well, let's go and, uh... Honestly, I don't even think we need to worry about taking shots. Uh, we could. How much health have they got? Oh, wait a second. We're on the wrong rotation. Uh, hmm. Alright, maybe we'll switch over to glitch. If we take a shot, how much health do these guys have? Uh, we should probably be able to find that out. Why can we not... Okay, so you can't just click on the enemy targets to see what you got. Okay, then. What can I do uh, let's go... Let's just go up and melee. I think that's the easiest way to go. Uh, you're the one with the LRM-10. And the... Oh, you got more LRMs. Um, maybe if we take him out, the beacon will go away? Yeah, let's see if that makes any deal... Uh, any... Any amount of difference. Let's just go in for the melee kill. Get rid of your Engaging missiles. There we go. All nice and stompy stompy. And Good glitch, go. what have you got? Uh, I think we're going to bring you in. Yeah. We'll follow you up over here. Moving out. The other one didn't seem to be in target range, so... Yeah, let's just get rid of them. Alright, this should be... Uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad at all. Bye bye. Well, he's trying to run away. Hopefully he doesn't get any crazy shots off. No, just a little bit of armor damage. But that is all Fire fine and a dandy. Alright, um Commander. You know what? We'll we'll put you into a full sprint. We'll see if you can take the shot. Got it. I'm sure uh, we can let him blow off some steam after having a very unfortunate uh, opening. Uh, no? Alright, uh... Good to go. Moving to position. Alright, Headhunter, we'll give you this one as well. You've got the, uh... All weapons. Got the Mission weapons. Inbound, yeah. I meet you at the LZ. Well done. Vehicle down. Alright, Eris has been cleared. Land immediately, hold position. Fantastic. Successful. Again, I really do like that quality of life improvement. That is one thing that I just cannot stress enough. I love those little things when developers think about their player and valuing their time to uh, not make us do extra things unnecessarily. Alright, so Capellan Federation seems happy. Uh, House Lau has always believed in one thing, Commander. Victory at any cost. It seems you will also understand this vital lesson. We are pleased you've performed so well. And so we gain a bonus 25% payment increase through doing everything. Defeating convoy escorts as well as the convoy. Alright, not bad. Uh, nice sum of money. Let's go ahead and see. Did we... Did we gain anything after that? Oh no, I think uh, Selvage is next. Alright, so looks at this point, uh, Decker did not gain any kills, but he did take a little bit of damage. Luckily, no injuries. Uh, everyone else has got two kills to their name, and so I think that is a very respectable first outing with you. So, uh, yes, congratulations and welcome to the team. Seems you have been well accepted. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, see what kind of options they're giving us. Uh, ammos, narc ammo, I have yeah, I don't think I've seen that at this point. Um, oh, apparently we have three. Okay, so it does actually show us. I did not realize that it gave us ammo counts. I somehow have missed that every other time we've gone through salvage. Huh. Alright, well, uh, that's 
not a bad thing. Uh, let's go ahead and add on... What do we want? I don't think we care for a spider. Blackjack could be useful. Uh, but I'm thinking... Let's just go with, uh, let's just go with some weapons. Let's go with a LRM-10 and 15, 4. Actually, maybe we get rid of that and we just go with the two SRM-6s as we have fairly low numbers of those in comparison to the others. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good idea. All right, let's confirm. Uh, we got a little bit of Sparta, some LRM-10s, jump jets, narc ammo, and SRMs. Ammo, that's uh, pretty good. That's pretty good. And that's got a 1.6 million Seabull value, so that is uh, not insignificant. In fact, it's uh, yeah, definitely well and truly worth the cost. Alright, let's see. Uh, now, we should have some experience, so we'll definitely go ahead and use that. I think, uh, I, think I was looking at the at uh, Ranek. He had, uh, I think he only had two points in gunnery skill. Uh, let's just double check that. Uh, yes. Here we go. Two order. in gunnery skill. Uh, we did gain a thousand XP, which is nice. Uh, question is, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go with the health. The extra gunnery would be nice, but it's only a 2.5% base weapon hit increase, which is not as good as an extra health. So yeah. Uh, now, Rannick does has told me that he has a uh, penchant towards tactics and uh, what do we call it? guts. So uh, yeah, we'll certainly try and focus on those. So, but at the very minimum, having that extra health is definitely a necessity. So we will pick that up. Training confirmed. Commander. I was thinking we'd only be gaining maybe 500 XP, so we might have gone for gunnery. Uh, but the fact that we did have enough is definitely the better option for the health. All right. Standing by. Decker, you got a couple of choices. Let's go. What's that? Recoil penalty. Not too much of an issue. Piloting could be useful. Uh, plus one hit defense. Interesting. Plus three melee defense is nice. Increased melee, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, maybe we go ahead and do that. He seems to be a bit of a run around and harass, and sometimes he does get quite close to the enemies. So if we do give him a bit of melee skill, that could be very useful. And it would also mean that when he's being attacked with melees, which does happen when we destroy their weapons, that uh, he might survive that a little bit better too. So let's go ahead and give that to him. Mech warrior training complete. Uh, go. Glitch, what have you got? You got a thousand XP. Not quite enough for your next bonus. Uh, yes, and myself, we have three thousand. Well, I'm thinking. Uh, what have we got here? I'm thinking here we go for the plus fifteen overheat threshold. That seems pretty cool. I do like the idea for the coolant vent, although maybe we are getting close to gaining breaching shot, which could be useful. Same thing with uh, the extra gunnery skill. Um, what would tactics provide? Plus one indirect fire penalty. Again, I think I think it is definitely. Oh well, we could also gain the minimum range bonuses. That's not, that's actually not a bad idea at all. We do like having a little bit of extra minimum range. Help avoid those penalties for uh, being within closest distance. Uh, it is a choice. I'm thinking what we'll do is... Ah, uh, this is, that's a very, uh, I'm thinking, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to... Hang on a second. How do we... De oh, okay. We can deselect those. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is hold on. Actually, no. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up the guts. Uh, that way we'll keep gunnery and guts at a relatively equal spot as we work towards those things. I think that's not a bad idea. We'll Dream confirm that. Complete. And then I think maybe if we get a bunch of XP as well, we won't let our tactics fall too far behind. 
That extra minus 45 meters to minimum distance is pretty solid. Welcome to the grease pit, Commander. All right, so we're definitely going to have some mechs to fix. So we're going to have to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and repair. Uh, that'll be a necessity. And then we do have the Centurion in working progress. We're going to have to go through a couple of days. Uh, then another one for our Blackjack. I think we'll go... Yeah, we're going to... I think what we'll do is we're going to let the Centurion finish first and then we'll see if uh, there was any more work we needed to do on that before we upgraded things all right um sorry finished refitting things that's right that's uh, so if we go to our Centurion yeah we were we were missing something something was wrong with that and I cannot remember which okay so we're carrying around AC-10 ammo without an AC-10. That does seem like a little bit of an oversight. Um, that had been mentioned to me in a comment that I forgot that. Uh, you know what? Maybe we just go with an AC-2 for now. It's not necessarily what we want to hold for long term, um, but that would give us... Oh, wait a second. Do we have the AC-10 ammo? AC-2 ammo? Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll dismount those and unless, hang on a second, we should check the store before we make any rash decisions. Yeah, there's no, there's no signs of the weapon that we were wanting. I was gonna try and figure out if we uh, liked the base setup, but we'll just go with the AC2 instead. Uh, we'll chuck on a single bin of ammo. Uh, that's what, 25 rounds? I think that's pretty good. Um, now we, that's right, I also saw a suggestion that we should put the ammunition in our legs, uh, because if that blows up, we won't lose as many hard points, which isn't a terrible idea. Uh, can we put it in the same arm though? We can. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if we, maybe it is worth, hmm. The leg does sound like an alright idea, and there's probably some experience to that. Um, yeah, there's probably some experience being spoken in uh, that suggestion. But what I'm thinking is uh, maybe we... Yeah, but in my... Th so here's, here's my thoughts at the moment. If we put it in the same spot as the weapon, Either one, if either one of those gets destroyed, we're going to start losing... Uh, we're we're going to lose that hard point or that weapon ability anyway. So it wouldn't make too much of a difference if we put them in the same grouping in this scenario, since we can fit them both in there. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then what else can we do? You know what? We still have a little bit of tonnage remaining. Maybe we chuck on... Uh, the heat efficiency could be increased. Let's see about adding on some things there. Let's go... Um, what is it? Centurion. We've got some pretty... Yeah, let's go for some heat sinks. Let's chuck... Let's chuck a couple in there. Uh, so what's this? If we check... Where was it? Okay, so we have 36 heat sinking. Alpha strike is 38. That's pretty good. Uh, we don't have any jump jets or anything, but that should be fine. Maybe we... Do we just pack on a little bit of extra armor? That could be worthwhile. Yeah, maybe that's what we do. Maybe we distribute some extra armor onto this thing. Let's go... Oh, wow. Okay, so this is... Uh... Bring that up to, say, 130. Ah, uh, let's go. What's that? 46? Yeah, another 1.5 tons. I'm not 100% sure if that is the best. Okay, so that's at 120, and I've clearly miscounted some things. Yeah, let's, uh, let's beef it up a little bit. And then we have another 3 tons remaining. Do we chuck anything else elsewhere? Uh, maybe we go a couple extra pips in the back. 
Uh, one, two, three. We can always change this around at a later date if this is a bad idea. And then, oh, actually, you know what? I do like a nice round number, so let's see if we can uh, sort that out. Uh, 55, 60... Oh, come on, I just want it to make a nice round number. Alright, so that'll do. And then with the final two tons, do we go... How much does an arm mod weigh? Does it cost anything? No, it doesn't. That seems to be just a an item swap out. Um... Hmm... Uh, so, weapon-wise, we've only... Oh, wait a second. Yeah, weapon-wise, we've got... One AC2. How much did that cost? That's six in tons. Maybe we go for something a little bit lighter. Maybe something small. Uh, 0.5 and maybe chuck that in the other arm. Oh, wait. Uh, cannot add small laser to left arm. There is not a hard point. Oh, there is... No hard points supported. Okay, so we could technically chuck one in the same arm, but I feel like that's a bad idea. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go with that, and then... You know what, stuff up. Let's just go and add a little bit more armor in until we are fully maxed out. We have the tonnage to spare. We can always fix that up at a later date. 110. Uh, we've got a couple more. Oh, and now we're just under... We can't fit any more weight on. Huh. Um... Hmm. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to our equipment. We're going to add an extra heatsink. We'll go three. So now we have more than enough. And we will just drop a little bit of armor tonnage until we have the right amount. Oh, and we need to drop one more. Let's just go... There we are. So, very tanky now. Got some decent armor. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that for now. That'll take us eight days. That's fine, but at least we'll have a fully working mech, which is nice by the time that that's done. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and confirm. We'll see if we like that. Our blackjack is back in another day, so let's just go ahead and uh, pass through a little bit more time, and then let's see about a contract. Alright, so Blackjack and Commandos are both up and running, so let's go ahead and see what contracts we're going to pick for next time. I'm thinking we might take a little bit of a fight. Now that we've got all of our mechs, well, our heavier mechs running around, I think we're going to go for... Ooh, I do feel like a little bit, a little bit of robbery could be fun. Either that or we are... Hmm... Maybe we... Do we go for this one? Yeah, you know what? Why not? Either that or... Yeah, such a... Such a choice. I think we're going to go for a fight. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for this going go for ground. Uh, there is a Capellan Leopard dropship through this region when we lost its signal. Uh, Orbital Scan suggests the ship made landfall here on planet, probably hoping to go to the ground and hide the military lance it was carrying. It would be convenient if that lance were to disappear, and Canopian analysts believe the have isolated the area the target lance is trying to hide in. Alright, you know what? Yes, that sounds very good. We're going to go ahead and uh, I think we'll pick something fairly standard. The uh, the Magistry of Canopus seems to be fairly happy with us, and the Capellans are not as happy, but at the end of the day, um, I don't have the strongest affinity to the Capellans anyway, so it is what it is. Alright, so if you do want to see this uh, next contract, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we also have a community tab for the details on piloting mechs if you would like to join on in. That being said though, you can still leave a comment down below. Uh, there's no real uh, place that I'm looking one way or the other, and just as long as you know that the option is still available. And so yes, if you do want to uh, continue seeing the series be sure to hit that subscribe button it's the best way to catch all future BattleTech content and i will see you next time so until then thank you for tuning in to the leviathan cove this is the leviathan signing out